to bang Alvra Alvra vlogs. So this is the most secret bad way that I did and how did I go here by myself uh, in Canada so I'm going to share some secret bad way here in Canada because this is the easiest approval that you can have so first this is so secret so don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel so how to process in less than three months so this is the bad way that everyone know now it's not that secret but you can do it in by yourself this is what we call study permit visa canada pathway so they call this as study or student pathway so step one look for a designated school beware of scam agencies you can do it by yourself or diy so it's up to you if you meet someone like an agency that they don't ask for more than hundreds or dollars or millions then you can definitely ask for help for them but for me since this is the proven way that I did and I'm already here so I really advise you to be you know just trust yourself do it by yourself then first step you should choose the school you want and search and search and study everything before you apply you should check first the province that you want to stay or if there are lots of for me i look for a lot of filipino community that was the same pathway we have a lot of facebook group so i joined there and asked for a lot of questions i search before i noticed because of edu canada do you know that edu canada these are the schools that we're going to give you their programs and they're going to invite you to meet online just like a zoom meeting so they're going to explain what are the programs that they have in their school so you can still choose whether you like to stay in other like Toronto, Vancouver, or any part of Canada provinces. So for me, I choose NBCC. So let's go to pick a program. Uh, you can go to their website. I'm going to share the website link where you can choose the program that you like. But we I advise that you should pick the program that is next to your job or need you're already for example you're already a bachelor's degree holder so for me i am an it graduate i choose to have an it program so this is the thing that you need to prove on your visa application that you choose this program because you want to enhance your skills and also you, you want to to make sure that you have the same pathway because this is the program that you have before and since we pick nbcc we have the application form of 100 canadian dollars so you need to have your requirements which are your transcript of records from college or high school and then diploma high school and college and then they are going to ask you an english medium of instruction this is a cer certificate from your school registrar that english is a major subject so if you don't have the english medium or you have a hard time to get the certificate from your school then you can take duolingo test or ielts but for me i take duolingo test since 
I applied in 2020 and there's a pandemic so our school is closed so I cannot go there because of the pandemic so I just take the Tulum test online and I got the certificate then you need to put it there or upload it on your application in BCC and then for me I added my birth certificate in a PDF file that I uploaded to NBCC application. Next is step 2. So you already gathered the requirements for student visa application. You need to have the letter of acceptance from the school and then the tuition fee receipt and then if you have the co-op letter or the work, re- work requirement permit from the school you need to attach it and then that's what we call the on-the-job training OGT in Philippines so you, you need to secure those PDF files from the school they're going to send you an email that you're already accepted and then next um, the other documents that you need to have on your client information like for me I'm just a single applicant I have this on my application like the table of contents letter of intent which is your student application uh, permit and then your e-medical information sheet like you you need to go to a designated affiliated clinics in the Philippines like IOM or St. Luke's and you need to have this a medical information sheet that you already passed the medical and then your birth certificates if you're married your marriage certificates and then your government IDs like drivers um, team ID and your if you're already professional in your work you need to have those like your personal ids like you need id just like that and then nbi clearance this is really important that you need to have the nbi clearance that you you're free from um anything that you don't do any criminal records and then don't forget your high school transcript of records high school diploma certificate of employment from your um your previous works and also your current work your you need to certificate of employment and then pay slip from your work and then license awards if you have and then um these are the importance like house and lot title memorial or orcr sunlight sun life um certificate that you have those uh, for your home ties uh, th- because you need to prove that you're capable to study in canada that you have enough funds beside that just to prove if someone were going to help you and then you need to have a letter of letter of um, approval that they going to help you just like your mom your dad or your family or anyone who wants to help you to study in canada and then these are the study visa proof of funds in canada you can just check it there because these are these are the amounts that roughly estimated from the actual application from Sancor Unlimited because I asked for them some help as well like to help and check what are the funds required but I do it by myself and then step 3 time to upload your documents in the IRCC website which is this is the link and I'm going to put it on the vlog the important links that you need to and then these are the copy of requirements just like the college diploma or the information that you need like biometrics your uh, you need to have that you're yeah, going to receive some step-by-step information from IRCC 
for the application like they're going to ask you to go to process your biometrics and go to Makati if you're from Philippines or there are some designated uh, v- VFA oh, VFS <laughs> it's like that so you need to go there then now you're approved uh, the thing is you need to buy some air ticket going to your Canada destination and welcome me to Canada so you need to have your own ticket before going I mean you need to buy your ticket before a month before you're going to be on the Canada's destination trip because uh, this is much more cheaper if you're going to buy one month before your flight then possible the air tickets are really are really expensive then welcome to Canada so expect that if you're um, going to bring a lot of things just to make sure you have your your 20 by 20 box or at least two two package so you won't be over limit your allowances or the care and they're very strict because of this so you need to not to overload at your things and next is look for a house or a rental room uh, for me I have an Airbnb landlord before so I I have to rent for an Airbnb and then after January 1st I paid $550 for the month and then another $550 for the deposit and then all in all water as well as the internet so that's just the minimum rental fee here in St. John and then if you have any question just email me or post your comments and I'll reach out for any help thanks have a great day and I hope this vlog help you some of your uh, questions regarding with the application program for student permit. Thank you and have a great day. See you here.